Police in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, say it was a big misunderstanding. Officers mistook an African-American teenager for a robbery suspect and handcuffed him. As Michelle Miller explains, the teen was only riding in the car with his white grandmother. Come out with your hands up, face away from us. After ordering 18-year-old Akil Carter out of his grandmother's car. Hands up high in the air. Face away from us. Walk to the sidewalk. Police placed him in handcuffs and ordered him into the back of a squad car. Officer Gabriel is going to get some information from you, okay? Grandmother Paulette Barr had just left church and was driving Akil to work when police stopped them. Officers say they initially started following them after an African-American man and woman identified the vehicle. They said it was carrying a white woman who was being robbed by two black men. But police say they never got a formal statement from those witnesses because they left the area. The family's attorney is skeptical. It seems strange that for all the dash cam footage the police have turned over, we have not seen anything where the officer's interacting with these people. After Carter was detained, an officer is seen exiting the patrol car with his gun outside the holster. Officers then approach the teen's grandmother. Is everything okay? This is my grandson. That's your grandson? Yes. Police say Carter was handcuffed for approximately six minutes. Well, I'm guessing what this sounds like is a really big misunderstanding. After the teen was released, a witness captured his grandmother's reaction. That's your grandson? Yes. Wow. The family's attorney says even if the police account is accurate, the officers clearly overreacted. Any random person can run up to a police officer now and say, stop that car, it's engaged in a robbery, and that's all it takes. The family's attorney says the frightening encounter left the grandmother feeling helpless, wondering what she could have done to protect her grandson. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.